Number two, he should take some action. Minimum. The minimum today that the Muslim can do besides condemning that is that tell to convey to the others that this act is wrong. And today the world is a global village. And today the social media has become so popular and so common that for us to condemn such acts, we can easily do it on the social media. This wasn't there 10 years back, but now, today, internet is used by about 60% of the world population. Out of the 7.82 billion people that we have today, 60% use internet, 4.56 billion people. And from this, 4.14 billion of the people in the world, they use social media. That is 53% of the world population uses social media. So what a Muslim can do? And most of the Muslims will be having social media accounts, whether it be Facebook, whether it be YouTube, whether it be Twitter. We have to condemn this act on the social media. If you cannot write any articles yourself or you are not good with words, the least you can do is go to the other Facebook pages or the other social media sites and scan what the other Muslim da'is have said, what the Muslim leaders have said, what other Muslim scholars have said. The least you can do is copy and post it onto your social media account. Today, Facebook is the largest and the most used social media. Today, as on October 2020, there are 2.701 billion users, monthly active users, MAU, in the world. 2.701 billion active monthly users. That's about 35% of the world population. They are on the Facebook. Even if you agree that the Muslims use social media less, at least 25% of the Muslims be on the Facebook. And today, the Muslim population is approximately 2 billion. I'm shocked that in the last one week, when I heard some of the heads of states of Muslim countries, they are saying that Muslims are 1.6 billion in the world today. Some said 1.5 billion. From where do they get these statistics? This may be 10-15 years back. According to the PEW report, which is an authentic report, in 2015, five years ago, they said that Muslims were 1.8 billion. 24.1% of the world population were Muslims. And statistics tell us that the Muslims increase 2.2% annually every year. Some statistics say they increase by 1.5%. If you calculate and you multiply 1.8 billion by 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.25 times, you get a figure of more than 2 billion. If you agree they increase only 1.5% every year, yet you get a figure of 1.95 billion. So today Muslims are approximately 2 billion in the world. So how can a head of state of a Muslim country, which is one of the largest in the world, say that Muslims are only 1.6 billion? So even if we agree that 25% of the Muslims use Facebook, that means half a billion Muslims will be having Facebook. And imagine if we convey this message and we condemn this act, it may be anything, whether it may be the Danish cartoon, whether it be the Charlie Hebdo, whether it be Macron, what he insulted the Prophet, or whether it be Salman Rajdi. Whenever such incidents take place, the least you can do today is on the social media you can wait. And Alhamdulillah, I did a campaign for about five days on the Facebook. And it's going to end today, inshallah, from last Tuesday to the Saturday for five days. And 
I had 16 posts that were designed. And every day, either three, four, or five posts were posted on my Facebook. And Alhamdulillah, in a span of these five days, it's yet continuing. About 35 million people saw this post. Mashallah. And in the next one week, it may reach about 45 to 50 million. So everyone can put on his Facebook. We know today, the more number of people that you have, the Facebook doesn't let your post reach everyone. They let only a small percentage reach amongst your followers. Only a small percentage receive unless you pay a lot of money. And as a policy, I do not give a single dollar. I don't give any paid ads or any paid post. Mine is 100% fully organic. My followers, Alhamdulillah, on the Facebook are 22.6 million. But on a normal post, about 500,000, 800,000, sometimes a million. But in this, mashallah, the average was much higher. You can even post it on Twitter. You can post your condemnation on the YouTube. The talk that I gave, the answer that I gave last week, it was for 24 minutes. And when I put on my YouTube, in three days, mashallah, more than half a million people saw it. So in this way, a Muslim can, mashallah, reach across the world. Imagine if all the Muslims put on their social media account, surely we will be able to convey this message to half the world. Everyone at least has some following. And many people have this philosophy that, oh, you know, there are hardly about a thousand people on my Facebook, or only 500 people on the Facebook. Allah will give you thawab on your action. Suppose a person can reach a million people and he only reaches half a million people and a person who Allah has given capacity to reach to a thousand people and he reaches all thousand people, he will get more sawab than the person who has reached half a million people because Allah gave him a capacity of one million. So depending upon whatever ability you have got, my request to the Muslim Ummah is that see to it that you condemn this act on all the social media accounts that you have, whether it be Facebook, whether it be YouTube, whether it be Twitter, whether it be WhatsApp. And today we know, Alhamdulillah, after Facebook, the number two most popular social media account, it is the YouTube. YouTube has got 2 billion followers as of October 2020. The third is WhatsApp, which has got 2 billion monthly active users. The fourth is Facebook Messenger, which has got 1.3 billion monthly active users. The fifth it is the WeChat, 1.206 billion monthly active users. The sixth it is the Instagram, 1.153 billion active users monthly. So if we make use of the more active or the more popular of the social media, there are higher chances that you'll reach a larger audience. At least if we take care of the top 15 or the top 20 most active social media, you'll be able to reach a large audience. Snapchat has got 441 million users. Pinterest has got 413 monthly active users. Twitter has got 336 million monthly active users. So what we should do, we should propagate as much as possible on the social media with whatever ability you have. If you cannot do it yourself, copy the post of other Islamic scholars, other Islamic dais, other Islamic leaders and promote this as much as you can. In my YouTube channel, I gave a reply for about 24 minutes to the attack President Emmanuel Macron made against Islam and that video of 24 minutes in a span of less than three days it had more than 500,000 views alhamdulillah so you can use the Facebook you can use the YouTube you can use the Instagram and this is how you promote and what you can do you can go on the internet and select some books 
or pamphlets on the life of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. For example, a short booklet written by a Hindu, Life of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him by Prophet Ramakrishna Rao. You can pick up statements from the book of La Martin on Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. In the book Heroes in Hero Worship, Thomas Carlyle writes about the Prophet. You can pick up that paragraph and send it to a non-Muslim friend. What Michael H. Hart wrote about the Prophet in the book The Hundred Most Influential People. These short things you can pick up from the net and send it to your non-Muslim friends. You can even send the Thira of the Prophet Muhammad One of the best Thira is the Sealed Nectar which is written by Sheikh Sufi Rahman Mubarak Puri. It is by Darus Salaam. You can pick it up and most of these things are free. Send it to your non-Muslim friend, send it to your Muslim friend, put it onto your social media account and distribute it. It's very easy and social media, believe me, is absolutely free. You don't have to spend a single penny on it and no one can say that he cannot spend it on the social media. It's very easy.